Hi everybody, it's Adam with HeartValveSurgery.com and we are at the Mitral Conclave in New York City and I'm thrilled to be with Dr. Doug Johnson who is the Chief of Cardiac Surgery at Northwestern Medicine in Chicago, Illinois. Dr. Johnson, thanks so much for being with us. Hey, great to be here, Adam. Yeah, so Dr. Johnson, we're here seeing all these presentations, research, learning a lot. At the same time, we're getting patient questions from all the wonderful people in our community. And one came in from Nikki, all about this topic of watchful waiting. She says, my son has a bicuspid aortic valve with severe aortic stenosis. He experiences chest pain. He is currently in what they call watchful waiting. Is a stress test the best and most accurate method to determine when surgery is necessary to replace the valve? Well, Nikki, I would say that is a great question. And your son is in this limbo that a lot of patients are in this watchful waiting stage. So let's back it up one second and take it away from this individual case and talk about a stress test. So a stress test is probably a, a very underutilized study to look at valve disease in the asymptomatic phase. So patients whose valves are getting worse, they may have just gotten in the severe range if you look at the report and it says severe aortic stenosis as your son has. And we're trying to say, is this somebody who's got a well-compensated heart? They're doing fine, they can wait a little while. Or is this somebody who experiences symptoms with stress or has changes on their echo um, or their EKG that suggests that the heart is suffering from the valve for lack of a better word. So a stress test can be very helpful and there's very good data to say that if your stress test is positive, you do worse. And if your stress test is negative, it's probably okay to wait for a little while. Now, bringing it back to your son's case, it sounds to me like he has symptoms. And I would want to know a lot more about the echo and exactly how he's doing. But most people would say that if you already have chest pain, maybe a stress test is not the right study to get. Um, there is some risk to doing a stress in somebody who's already symptomatic from their aortic stenosis. So this is a good time to get the heart team involved, to talk with a surgeon, cardiologist, maybe get a second opinion and really figure out where he is on the spectrum of the disease. Uh, it may be time to think about an intervention if he's symptomatic. So uh, this is a time to really spread the net wide, talk to a lot of different people and see where we are. Yeah, and so Dr. Johnson, you do a lot of work with aortic valve patients, in particular that are young patients, right? How important is it for Nikki as she's watching out for her son to start thinking about if a procedure is needed in the future, what are her options for the lifetime management for her 16 year old son if yeah. surgery is in the near future? Cause it's a, it's, a, it's a big challenge for pa patients and their parents. It's a big one. In the 16 year old age range, um, with few exceptions, the best option is probably going to be a Ross operation. It's a little scary for people to hear how complex that procedure is, but there's very good data now from our center and others on the safety of this kind of operation in especially this age group. So patients who still have growth potential or are young adults, or now we know even sort of what I would think of as a young adult, I feel like I'm young, uh, people in their 40s and 50s who have decades of life ahead of them. So the Ross can be a great option in that age group. Uh, it's very consistent with normal lifestyle and activity and all those things. We don't want to commit your son to something that is going to be lifestyle limiting at age 16. So um, there are a lot of options out there, uh, but I think that for a young patient, it's never the wrong thing to seek out a center or a surgeon who is um, familiar with and has good outcomes with the Ross and start to get an opinion. Even if they say, hey, we can wait, you're not ready, at least you'll know more about the surgical options. Yeah, and funny you mentioned the Ross procedure, Dr. Johnson, because I'm now on my oh, nearly 18 years of having had a Ross procedure with no interventions. The last time I had an echo, my cardiologist says, this is amazing. Your aortic valve still looks perfect. And I know at Northwestern, yes. you and your team are doing the Ross procedure. And so on behalf of Nikki, the patients and all the people at heartvalvesurgery.com, thanks for being with us today and doing all the great work you're doing at Northwestern Medicine in Chicago. Hey, thanks, Adam. And, and good luck to Nikki and your son. Hi everybody, it's Adam. I hope you enjoyed that video. And don't forget, you can always subscribe to our YouTube channel. Watch the next two educational videos coming up on your screen or click the blue button to visit heartvalvesurgery.com.